It's Wednesday. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. It is actually Wednesday. <laughs> um, it's 10am, so clearly I haven't had the most productive start to this week, but allow me to catch you up. <laughs> I am also very tired because I had weird dreams last night, so. So I have done like literally nothing productive the last couple of days. I played Sims all of Monday and I played Sims most of yesterday as well. Uh, before doing a few like faffy things and just playing with my phone essentially. So my mum is currently <laughs> um, getting me a Starbucks right now. Uh, I've sent her to get one because I really do not want to go. <laughs> uh, I have had a shower this morning which is why my hair is in this weird bun um, and it's sopping wet. I spent about half an hour this morning trying to get a brush through it so like a plait it but it was not having it. So I've just stuck it in the bun of shame and hopefully it will think better of its behaviour later and we can cooperate. So, you know. As for today though, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I haven't thought in like four days. Like, I'm just like, oh I just play Sims mindlessly and scroll through my phone because I can't be bothered to form thoughts. Yeah, I'm not sure entirely what I'm going to do today. I should really do some more research for the summer project because I just keep putting off being like, oh, well, I'm still working on college stuff because I'm doing the trash dresses and technically that's for college, but like I need to do the summer project. So I'm going to try and work on some of that today. And I'm kind of at the point with the trash dresses where like I have some of the stuff I need, but I can only do little bits. But like when I do something, I like to like really get stuck into it and just do that. But I can't because I don't have all the materials <laughs> and realistically I'm not going to be able to get hold of the materials anytime soon because, you know, the pandemic. Technically charity shops are supposed to be open now but only some of them and like where we live we only have one that's actually local and we have to like drive technically out of town to go to the other ones and the good ones are actually near my college um, but I know because my college is like outside of my town, I travel to get there. But we know that where my college is is actually kind of a hot spot for, you know, the pandemic. <laughs> so, like, even though those charity shops are open, we don't want to go there. So, you know, it's very frustrating, basically. Uh, I have just ordered a load of blank CDs off of Amazon, though, which could turn up today or could turn up next month because they like honestly just no one seems to know what delivery times are happening anymore because like half the stuff I've ordered like it says oh yeah it'll come tomorrow and then it actually comes in a week and the stuff that says oh yeah we'll get it to you in like three to five business weeks and it comes the next day and it's like you just don't know what you're doing basically so I have no idea when they're going to turn up I've also got a book on order like I'm still waiting for my phone case from Redbubble um, I'm pretty sure there's something else as well so like there's just a lot of random stuff coming and we have no idea when it's going to turn up so yeah essentially what I'm trying to say is that I have no idea what I'm doing today I'm very tired and I've done nothing this week so we'll wait until my mum gets back with Starbucks and then we'll see where we're at I think <laughs> So it's a bit later, my hair has thankfully decided to cooperate now, um, so that's great. Um, I have had my caffeine, I have had some pizza, so we're all ready to go. I have actually, I've been doing this, which you can see, um, I'm covering like a cardboard fan essentially in CDs. You might be wondering why, um, it's because it's going to be part of like the trash dress thing. 
Um, it's quite complicated to explain, so it's kind of just, and I have no idea how I'm going to attach it really yet, but it's basically meant to be like a peacock tail. But that's all the CDs I've got for now. That's 100 CDs. Well, technically 99 because one of them was broken. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a lot of CDs and I've got another 200 coming in the mail. Because um, we originally, we bought those ones from Tesco's but they didn't have any more. So we were just like, oh, we'll just order them instead because it's like like a half an hour queue to get into Tesco's in the first place. So we're not doing that. <laughs> So yeah, I did that, but I have now run out of CDs, so <laughs> I can't do any more of that. And also I really am just procrastinating doing my summer project because it's boring. <laughs> but I am um, like I have I have three research pages left to do, and then I'm sort of done at least on the initial research bit, and then I can sort of move on to like developing the ideas and like experimenting and stuff, which is the fun bit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit down and I'm just gonna do them and then I can forget about it. Um, I can carry on with some trash dresses and I can do some like experimental shoots and stuff so I'm just gonna sit down and get the research done and then we can do the fun things. Okay I apologize for the aircon in the background but it's so hot today so I am not turning it off or I will melt into a puddle on the floor. So before we get started my new phone case came. Isn't it so cool? I will put the link to the artist down below. I got it from Redbubble. Um, again, it did not adhere to its estimated arrival date, but it's here, so who cares? It's so cool though. I love it. So it's, wow, it's actually 20 past 12. But I have, I've done a few things today. I mean, I didn't sleep that well last night because, because it's so hot at the moment. Like I've been having weird dreams. So I, I woke up like really early. So I'm not like hugely well rested, but I'm getting on with things anyway. So this morning I actually uh, painted a CD, <laughs> um, yeah, I put the, which way, that way, <laughs> I put the video of me painting it up on my Instagram story, uh, so if you want to see the process then you can go follow me on Instagram, but yeah, this was just like, like, it's just clear, it's a clear CD, it was like, um, you know like you get the stacks of CDs, um, well it was like, it was just like a clear piece of plastic but in the shape of a CD, like at the bottom to protect the bottom CD, um, and I decided to paint it. <laughs> so you know, I'm gonna stick it on my wall and I, I think it's cute. <laughs> so yeah, that was pretty much my entire morning activity. I did go and do some food shopping with my mum really quickly, and I got a Starbucks. Of course, it's long gone, <laughs> but still. <laughs> so, you're probably wondering what this is in the background. Um, this is actually one of my trash dresses. I think it's the one I showed you last week, but I've added to it since then. So I will, like, I'm not gonna, it's really hard for me to show you them, like, while I'm talking to you because they're so big and, like, my room isn't, like, there's just not enough, like, width to show you properly. Um, but I will insert some... purely to make it easier to put on but when it's on it'll look like a dress even though technically it's not just because it's like it's it's been back so it's not going to be that easy to put on and I'm also I am going to have little cap sleeves on the bin bag dress but like it's because I don't know who's going to be my model yet so I don't really know what size I need to make everything so I'm just making things slightly bigger and then I can always staple things smaller um, and I also like I just don't know how big I need to make the sleeves but they're really easy to make so I'll just sort of I've got like some spare bin bags over here and I'll just bring them with me and then staple them on <laughs> when the model's wearing the dress but I don't know who's going to be modelling for me yet so I have of course been doing my uh, peacock tail out of CDs uh, I've run out of CDs though so I've got to wait for the more to arrive in a mail which could be a while or it could be today who knows? Um, and of course I did also do the rag dress which again it was like originally finished but I think I'm going to add some more to it because it's just like not, like it needs more oomph, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to add some more to it. 
uh, but I'm not going to do that today. Today I'm focusing on my summer project. So I did do all the research I said I was going to do yesterday and then I did briefly move on to the trash dresses again because I just like I'm really excited about them and I just can't I can't put them down <laughs> but I did do the research so I've done pretty much all the research now so I can sort of happily move on to the experimenting or experimenting part of, of the project that's the word so today I like my mum got me just I'll get them actually <laughs> so I have just I think they're a three yeah are they yeah a three um, and it's just white and black and so I'm going to sort of tape them to my wall just so it looks like like that, <laughs> you know, so that I can do some still life and it will hopefully look all right. Again, this is kind of just experimenting because I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work because if it doesn't, then I'm going to have to try and build like one of the product photography boxes and that's a lot of effort. <laughs> So I don't want to do that, so I'm hoping that this is going to work. I'm going to have to get creative with the lighting as well because the only sort of wall I have is the one just here. But it's not huge and also like like the only window is over there, so there's no natural light. So I'm going to try and use a lamp and see how it works. <laughs> Basically it's just going to be a lot of trial and error. And also I'm... I don't know if you've seen but there's this whole like fake Vogue challenge going around at the moment where you like you take some like really cool like fashion editorial portraits of yourself and then sort of edit it to be like a Vogue cover um, so and I thought that was such a cool idea so I am 110% going to be taking part in that challenge don't know when I'll have time to or the, the space to because it will require kicking the entire family out and upending my living room again um, <laughs> But we'll make it work. I might try and do some like outside or something. Who knows? But I'm going to do it because it looks so cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to try and stick these pieces of paper to my wall <laughs> and see how it's going to work basically. Hopefully it will work because I really don't want to have to make a product photography box. <laughs> Okay, it is Friday, um, it's, oh, it's already half past 11, basically I've just been doing nothing this morning, um, that's it, I've just been playing Sims, because I'm like, I'm at the point again where I've, like, I've got loads of things I'm doing, or that I want to do, so like, I've got the trash dresses, I've got my summer project, um, you know, like, like, I've got loads of projects and like, I want to do the fake Vogue thing, but... I've then, I've hit a roadblock on all of them of that I still can't do them because of the fucking pandemic. So yeah, I have kind of just been playing Sims because I don't really know what else to do, but my mum's back from Tesco's now, she went and did some food shopping. She had a look and the charity shop over the road isn't open and that's the only one we have like locally. We have to go like out of town to get the other ones and we are allowed to go wherever we want now basically. So we're basically, we're going to go... Like, I don't really know if it's above or below us, but we're going to go, um, I think one of them's, or maybe it's east, I don't know. We're going to go to one place and then also to another place and we're just going to see if any of the charity shops are open. To see if I can get some more materials for my trash dresses, just so that I have something to do, really. <laughs> going out does mean I'm going to have to wear a mask though, which, I mean, it looks a bit weird like this, but it is a mask, see. Um, I hate wearing them so much, it's a sensory thing. And technically, like, because of my autism and it, it bothers me so much, um, I am one of the people that's exempt from wearing them because it, like, it annoys me so much. But, like, <laughs> because I'm not, like, when you look at me, I'm not obviously disabled. Um, you know, like, I'm able-bodied, like, I don't have, like, <laughs> like, I'm not, like, missing a leg or anything and I'm not in a wheelchair, so... And, you know, I also, like, I don't fit the autism stereotype of a loud boy basically so because I don't look obviously disabled it then leaves us having to argue with people and I just can't be bothered so I'm going to suffer <laughs> and I'm just going to wear the stupid mask and get on with it because I really really want to go and get some materials I think there are going to be at least a few that's opened because we've done some googling so hopefully there will be some and we'll see what I can get. Okay, I apologise for the aircon in the background again, but it's 34 degrees, so <laughs> I am not turning it off. 
I also know that I look like a sweaty mess and also I know I look weird without my glasses on. You might not think so, but I do think so. It's I think it's because like my eyebrows are like white blonde so you can't see them, which is why I have like almost like a gradient on my glasses so it's sort of like you know makes eyebrows for me <laughs> um but like they just keep steaming up because it's too hot so we're just gonna have to deal with it <laughs> but yeah i am back now um i mean the charity shops were pretty much a flop <laughs> only one of them was open which is a shame um i was hoping that more of them would be open since where i live we're quite um like we're one of the bigger towns I, th I think we are technically a very large town rather than a city but because it's such a big location i was hoping that as would be one of the ones to open up but apparently not i did manage to get a couple of things but they're really not very exciting <laughs> i literally just got two pieces of clothing i'm just going to use them for fabric so this one i'm just going to use to just make like a like a boob tube to go under one of the garments and then i'm just going to cut this one up for the lace so that i can like drape it so not exciting at all but <laughs> it wasn't a complete waste of time at least. We did then also stop at Waitrose because my mum needed to pick something up for my sister who it's her birthday next month um, and I got well I got a few things uh, first of all I got gingerbread <laughs> um, like honestly if you're looking for some top-notch gingerbread go to Waitrose because it's oh, it's the best you will not find better gingerbread anywhere so if you want gingerbread go to Waitrose <laughs> And also, like, how adorable is this? It's a little green dinosaur. And there's a little pug as well. It's so adorable. I did just want to open a magazine, though, because I got... I think when I was doing sewing a few weeks ago, I found... I got a magazine from Asda that had free sewing patterns in it, and we found another one in Waitrose. And this one has three, so I'm going to open it. So... I mean, I've got the magazine. The magazine's not that interesting. I just got it for the patterns, really. So it actually came with three patterns, which is great. Um, like, they're not hugely exciting. They're just fairly, like, generic. But, you know, they could come in handy and, like, I can alter them a bit, so. And they were free, so, <laughs> like, you know, I only paid for the magazine, so that's pretty neat. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's really all I've got to say, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Um, I still haven't really got anything to do because I didn't manage to find a lot. Um, like when my CDs come in the mail I can finish off the big peacock tail which will take up quite a large portion of, the, of a day but until then I'm still just kind of stuck. Um, I am looking at ordering an iPad Pro because because as you know I've been taking uh, school share classes on digital drawing and it's always something I've really loved. I do have, I have a Wacom tablet which is this but this isn't like it's not it's not like an ipad it's just you plug it into the computer so that you can draw but it's on your computer screen so it's useful for some things but it's not like i know some people can use it to draw as if it was an ipad but i just can't i can't like make it i, I just can't it doesn't compute in my head and i do i have an ipad but it's like like seven years old or something it, like it's so old i've had it since like before i started secondary school and it's i i don't know what model it is but it, it's really old basically it's really out of date it doesn't have like any and because originally well, all i really want is i want the apple pencil um because i've got some you know the pens that are like designed to draw on ipads with the like squishy touch thing you know um, I got one of those and I've also got a slightly different like what would you even call them like a a tech pen you know um, and that one's like super weird um, and I, uh, I don't like that one at all but because what I really need I just need an apple pencil so I was just gonna see if I could buy an apple pencil because I mean my iPad is is really old it's like ancient <laughs> it's practically a dinosaur in the tech world now but there's also nothing technically wrong with it, so if I could just get the Apple Pencil, then that would be great. But my iPad is so old that my iPad doesn't support the Apple Pencil, so I would have to get a new iPad. And so, while technically I don't need the iPad Pro necessarily, since I've got to buy a new iPad to get the Apple Pencil so that I can draw digitally, I may as well just get the whole thing and just spend the money 
rather than getting a cheaper iPad and then having to spend more money on the iPad Pro later, you know? So <laughs> it is more expensive to get the iPad Pro, like it's so expensive. Does anyone else like, when you think about spending that sort of money, because we're talking like a thousand pounds for everything including the Apple Pencil and stuff, do, like it kind of makes me feel a bit sick to think about spending that much money, but you know. <laughs> So yeah, I am thinking of getting that, but I need my dad to have a look at that basically because he is the tech guy, uh, like he literally, he works in IT, so yeah, I need, I need to get him to look at that and because like you have to like pick how much storage and stuff you want on it, which is so ridiculous and it's like an extra like £200 per storage upgrade, which is so ridiculous and I hate it because it's totally just buying into that like, it, it's so ridiculous, it should not be that expensive, but also, like, there is no alternative, because they've deliberately designed it, so you really can't get anything else that good, and it, it's very annoying, but also, like, there's no way around it, so. So yeah, I am thinking about ordering that, but in the meantime, I think I'm probably just gonna, <laughs> like, chill out and play Sims, maybe a bit Minecraft, and honestly just sit in this chair, because it is so fucking hot. Yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and chill. I'm going to eat my gingerbread. Um, and I'll see you if I decide to order the iPad Pro. Pizza. Um, I bought the iPad Pro. I'm now nearly a thousand pounds poorer. <laughs> um, <laughs> like it almost like it makes the switch look so cheap. <laughs> and I mean, honestly, I think like compared to what the switch is versus what this is, like I think this is more overpriced for what it is. But you know, <laughs> the point is they're both fucking expensive. But I thought I'd open it with you. So I have scissors. Although actually. There's like a pull tab. I, I, is this going to be really satisfying? I hope it is. Ah, <gasps> yes. <laughs> that that was so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I bet is there going to be one of those like pretty things on the screen? I hope there is. Otherwise, I'm going to be really disappointed. <laughs> Didn't pay nearly a thousand pounds to not have a screen thing. You know what it is. Okay, I've angled the camera down so you can actually see the box when I pull it off which oh no there we go there we go i was gonna say it might be a slow process but there we are <gasps> oh my gosh oh my gosh it's another one wow this is so like well thought out whoever designed that needs a pay rise <laughs> there we go and here i am holding a thousand pounds worth of my money <laughs> So obviously it doesn't have a case yet, um, I should angle the camera back up actually. <laughs> oh my gosh guys, the plug is like, <gasps> that's so cool. <laughs> my dad's like screaming at the screen right now because he's like, don't play with it. But it's so fun. <laughs> and then it, you can pack it, wait, that's so sick. I'm very easily entertained guys. <laughs> uh... Is this like a, it doesn't matter what end it goes in, Delio? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And now, 
See, the thing is, I don't have any plug sockets. Okay, I've unplugged the laptop charger to charge the iPad. <laughs> so, I'm now, like, I've just got to wait for it to charge, which is probably the worst thing about buying electronics, is that, like, you buy them and you're really hyped, but then you have to wait, like, five hours for it to be fully charged, which is, like, <laughs> less exciting. But yeah, I did buy the iPad Pro. I have, um, I have a case coming, we ordered that, as well as, uh, my dad has this, like, cool like matte screen protector which I think is sick so we've ordered one of those as well they will come at some point because as we know deliveries are being a bit weird at the moment um, but when they come I will show you my case isn't that interesting because like I found some really cool ones on Etsy including one that it was like a zip one and it looked like uh, a defense against the dark arts book like textbook it was so cool but it was like a hundred quid and it was gonna take like five months to get here so I was like yeah I don't think so um, and that that was the thing with Etsy was that they were all really cool but they were really expensive and it was gonna take like minimum of three weeks to get here so I was like yeah I'll, I'll pass on that one so it's just plain and black so it's not that interesting it's got a kickstand though I actually I used to have a phone case um, and it had like a little kickstand but it's like so now I've got like the iPad Pro version which is cool but yeah I will show you those when they arrive but that will probably be next week I also I do well I I have an Apple pencil I don't have it on me right now but I didn't buy one because my my dad works in IT so he's got an Apple pencil for me it's just at his work um, and obviously it's Saturday so he won't be at work until Monday, so he's going to bring it home for me on Monday. But in the meantime, I'm going to steal my sister's and use it over the weekend, because she has one as well. Uh, she doesn't have an iPad Pro, she just, I don't know what iPad she has, but it's, it's not an iPad Pro. But she does have an Apple Pencil. <laughs> my old iPad looks like such a joke compared to the new one. Like, it's so small and puny. I mean, this one's like seven years old or something. I don't know what this one is. Shall we check? It's an iPad Mini 3. A three guys <laughs> I mean it's not quite as bad like I think this is my second iPad because uh, I did have one originally when I was like little little um, and it was one of the bigger ones it was like I think it was like the iPad one maybe two I think it might have been two um, and like my sister and I both had one and we played Minecraft on it pocket edition all the way back in the day uh, when there was only like 12 blocks <laughs> I remember the days it was good good times um, and now it's like it's it's so funny now because Minecraft is like they've had a really sick nether update and everything which we've been waiting for for like a decade and it's finally here and I'm like I remember the days like even like saying that I remember the days before like andesite granite and dorite were added to the game makes you old <laughs> but like now I'm like yeah I'm so old um, I love Minecraft. Minecraft is a top-notch game. And also, can I just say it's better than Sims? Because Sims... Like, I love The Sims, but it's so expensive and you have to buy each pack individually and they're so individually expensive. And then, like, if they make a Sims 5, you then have to re-buy the game and all the packs when they get released, which is just, like... Now, like, that's icky. Like, if you think Apple's icky, I think Sims is ickier in terms of business practice. Whereas Minecraft, like, it costs, like, a tenner, <laughs> you know? And then, like, I've had it for, what, 14, maybe not quite that long, 12 years, maybe? And, like, they just keep doing free updates. So, like, my Minecraft is the one, guys. So, yeah, I think we'll probably, like, sell this, or I think you can, like, trade it in or something at the Apple store, I don't know. Uh, but we'll, we'll be getting rid of this. <laughs> so, yeah, um, <laughs> the conclusion is that I'm poor now <laughs> but you know I have a sick iPad and I can't wait to use it um, so yeah I will I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it in this vlog but I might do some maybe like a video like oh playing around with my new iPad but it's really cool now that I've got one because now I can actually get to digital drawing um, and I have something to do until I like the charity shops open and stuff which is great I think though I am gonna leave this vlog here because like I'm not going to be doing anything really over the next few days because as I said I have hit kind of a roadblock with all of my projects until things start opening up or like I'm still until my mum's free to drive me somewhere so you know um, I haven't really got much else to do this weekend it's just going to be 
me playing video games and playing with my new iPad and, you know, maybe reading a bit. I am, I am actually going to be reading because I got book mail yesterday, which was uh, The Black Veins by Ashia Monet, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it, like, um, my friend Charlie, you all know him by now, um, he was like screaming about this on Twitter um, and he was like, you need to read this and I was like, okay, I believe you, I trust your judgement, so I ordered it immediately <laughs> and it came yesterday, so that's why I haven't really been reading this week because I knew it was coming and I wanted to read it straight away. So yeah, I am going to be starting this this weekend at some point. Um, I may have finished it by Monday, it depends because I'm told it's amazing so it might be another good girl bat like good girl's guide to murder situation in which I you know stay up till midnight reading it so we'll see. <laughs> it is like it's one of it came from America and do you know the thing is is that I was looking on Waterstones for it because like Waterstones has everything right except they didn't sell this book and I was like what on earth? I was like personally offended. I was like, how dare you not sell the book that I want? Um, so I had to buy it from Amazon instead. Um, and I was like, I, th I sort of thought it might be one of the big paperbacks because it's from America and because it's from Amazon. And like, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I just, like, I don't understand why there's different sizes of paperbacks because it just makes my bookshelf organisation ten times harder because like, I'm, it ruins the linear lines of the bookshelves if there's just like a big paperback in the middle of small ones. So it means that I have to sort of organise it so that this one can be on the end, so that they're all in like size order. But then I also kind of have to do it because like if you've got a whole shelf full of just the same size paperback and then there's just this one on the end, then that also looks weird, right? So like then you, it, it just makes it difficult. And I don't understand why there's different size paperbacks. So I thought I like I anticipated that it would be a big one because it was coming from America, but it just it's a little bit annoying. <laughs> it's why I haven't bought the new Hunger Games book yet, because that's only out in hardback at the moment. Um, or you can get the big paperbacks, and I don't like the big paperbacks. So I'm gonna wait for it to come out in small paperback. Because then it matches my other ones. But yeah, anyway, I am gonna leave this vlog here. So Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, um, leave a comment down below and you know, recommend some more books to me, I'm always down for buying books, although I probably won't be able to buy any for a while because I'm now very poor, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> leave some like video requests down below as well because as I said I've got like a lot of time on my hands so I'm already planning to film a few extra videos uh, next week so that hopefully they'll be up within the next few weeks you know um, so there will be some more videos as well as the vlog so leave any requests you have down below and I will endeavour to do them because I've got nothing else to do <laughs> and yeah also let me know if you want me to review the iPad Pro because um, I mean it's not necessarily like it doesn't really have anything to do with autism but like obviously I like I do the autism reviews series so like I might do it for that maybe <laughs> um so yeah let me know if you're interested in that but yeah other than that remember to like the video if you enjoyed it um subscribe for more because there is going to be lots more content and yeah i'll see you in the next video <laughs>